Welcome to CVTV News. I'm Sharon Danielson. David and Deidre are off this week, but they will be back next week. What's a brand? It's something unique and special about a product or a place. Sometimes it's an image, sometimes it's a phrase, and sometimes it's music. But no matter what, it's all about establishing a market identity. That's why branding is so important. The city of Fredericksburg, established in 1728, brings to mind a lot of images and feelings. History, charm, and a small town quality. But caught between two major ur urban hubs, it's always been a challenge to establish a brand. What set of images, phrases, or logos makes people think of Fredericksburg? Fredericksburg City's Council is trying to meet this challenge and wants to develop a standardized brand for the city. To help, because after all, this is about marketing, they've hired Hub Inc., a strategic marketing consultant. Working with the city, businesses, citizens, and visitors, they are going to develop a brand for the city that will help evoke the images and feelings that make Fredericksburg such a special place. They're hoping to deliver some branding ideas by mid-year. The partial federal government shutdown has been going on for almost five weeks. One of the nine affected departments is the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. They're responsible for making sure that the food we eat is safe. Registered dietitian, attorney, and CEO of teledietitian Jackie Elnahar says that until the FDA is able to monitor recalls and products more effectively, it's important to steer clear of raw foods and processed meats because they're prone to contamination. She also says to avoid romaine lettuce and sprouts such as alfalfa and broccoli. These vegetables are susceptible to E. coli. Bill Marler, who's been litigating food poisoning cases since 1993, echoes El Nahar's assertion on what foods to avoid and offers a few other recommendations. Marler also says to avoid any foods a consumer can't cook, he said, or any ready-to-eat products that are likely contain pathogens like cheeses, deli meats, leafy greens, or sprouts. Anything that doesn't have a kill step involved, avoid it until the shutdown is over. One additional suggestion that we have is to follow your supermarket or grocery store on social media. That way, if the grocer proactively issues a recall not announced by the FDA, as Kroger Foods did on January 10th, you'll have a better chance of knowing about it. Truth be told, watching what you eat is just one way to ensure the safety of yourself and your family at this time. Good advice, all the time and certainly during the shutdown. Governor Ralph Northam announced his support for legislation pending in the General Assembly that would raise the smoking age, and this includes vaping, from 18 to 21. Northam's position isn't surprising. He's been a leading health public advocate throughout his career. Northam, a medical doctor, is a pediatric neurologist and has actively encouraged reduced access to tobacco. The bill will raise the smoking age, has failed to pass in early legislative of sessions, but is given a good chance in 2019. We'll be right back after this.